thank you for purchasing your Child Checkmate system. The following is an instructional video for the installation of a rear vehicle transmitter. The rear vehicle transmitter is mounted on the wall of the bus, over the window of the furthest rear seat on the driver's side of the bus. Using a pencil, mark the location of the rear vehicle transmitter. Using your marked location, drill a small pilot hole. Next, drill a 23 64 inch hole at the desired location over the rear seat. Insert the supplied plastic grommet into the drilled hole. Next, feed the three wires from the back of the rear vehicle transmitter into the pre-drilled hole. Secure the rear vehicle transmitter to the panel with a supplied top screw. Place the supplied small plug over the two remaining holes at the bottom of the rear vehicle transmitter to secure it to the panel. Next, remove the panel from the wall. Begin by turning the bus's ignition on. Using your test light, connect to a good ground and locate a 12 volt ignition wire. This is usually the same wire that powers the rear door. Next, cut and strip the 12 volt ignition wire. Next, you will need to find the rear door buzzer ground wire. This is the same wire that the blue wire from either the EP1 or EP2 alarm unit is connected to. To begin, make sure your ignition is on and open the rear door of the bus. The rear door buzzer at the front of the bus will sound. Please note, if there is not a common wire from the front warning buzzer to the rear door switch, then a wire needs to be run forward and can be connected to the blue wire of either the EP1 or the EP2. You do not need to connect to a buzzer at this point. Next, connect your test light to the 12 volt ignition wire and probe the other wires to find the rear door buzzer ground wire. To ensure that you're using the correct wire, close the rear door and test the wire again. Your test light should not come on. Next, cut and strip the rear door buzzer ground wire. You can now connect the rear vehicle transmitter. Begin by connecting the red wire of the rear vehicle transmitter to the 12 volt ignition wire using a butt connector. Next, connect the blue wire of the rear vehicle transmitter to the rear door buzzer ground wire using a butt connector. Please note, the rear vehicle transmitter pulses a 15 Hertz ground signal on the blue wire. Next, connect the black wire to a good ground source. Before replacing the panel wall, test your rear vehicle transmitter to make sure it is functioning properly. To do this, turn your ignition on and press and hold the stop button on the rear vehicle transmitter. If the rear vehicle transmitter is working properly, you'll hear the rear door buzzer pulsing at the front of the bus. Ensure that the wires are secured behind the panel and then reattach the panel wall. This concludes the installation of the rear vehicle transmitter. Thank you for watching this Child Checkmate installation video.